Carb Boy is back because today we are making some overnight oats. Uh, some months ago, we actually did an oatmeal recipe. It took way too long. It was like 45 minutes on the stove, then another 45 minutes for it to cool off. So we're going to do a quick, easy, simple, and the healthiest overnight oat recipe so that you can have an amazing breakfast and for me, helps heal my liver. Let's get started. So here we have the same steel cut oats that we use in the prior oatmeal recipe. This is the whole groat that is chopped up. The groat is the type of grain that grows on the oat plant. And these are the best because they're not processed with any sort of water that might be polluted. That's the main issue with the quick oats. You know, what type of processes were they using to make them? Just have some organic cane sugar here, some organic maple syrup, a little bit of vanilla bean powder, and we're also gonna put some salt in there of course, we have some glass bottled mineral water to boil it in. So in this pot, we already have about three cups of water boiling away. We're gonna put in three quarters of a cup of oats. And for me, this is enough for two mornings worth of breakfast. So we're just gonna stir that a little bit, turn the heat off. And we're gonna kind of let this rest on the side for you know, a minute or two. Keep it a little bit on the heat, make sure it doesn't boil over. And we just want the burner to cool off a little bit. Also just gonna add in a nice pinch of salt. Basically we wanna keep this here without it boiling over, which obviously if we leave it on the heat, it boils over. So <laughs> we're trying to leave it partially on the heat until this burner cools off enough that we can just leave it on there overnight. So after about three minutes, it looks like it's not gonna boil over when we cover it. Now we can add the rest of the ingredients. About a quarter teaspoon of vanilla bean powder, and guys, this is what makes the recipe. Vanilla bean powder, vanilla bean paste, two amazingly aromatic ingredients. We're gonna do three tablespoons of sugar. This is kind of sweet. Um, if you don't really like it sweet, I would do about two tablespoons. And then we want a tablespoon and a half of the maple syrup. This also adds a really nice kind of breakfasty nostalgia element to it. So the combination of the aromatics from the vanilla, the maple syrup, and the brown sugar go really, really, really well together. It makes this super nice and delicious. Uh, but that's really it, guys. This is just gonna sit on the stovetop overnight on this hot burner that has been turned off. And uh, when we come back in the morning, it will be good to eat. We just have to warm it back up. Uh, maybe there's a, a better way to do this in a rice cooker. We'll have to explore that uh, a few months from now. So next morning, this is what we have. The oats are completely cooked. However, they are now cooled off. So we do have to warm this back up. Now I actually put a bit more water than the recipe calls for. Uh, if it's a little thicker than this, if it's like a solid clump, you might have to add a little bit more water here uh, when we warm it up. So I'm just gonna put the stove uh, back on high and, and stir this for a few minutes. It's probably better to, to put it in something like this to warm it up because it is going to take a little bit while in this pot or you could just use a, a wider pot when you uh, make it in the first place. I also like to add just a little bit of oil for fat. You could put a little butter, but um, it just adds to the flavor a lot, not necessarily the nutrition. All right, about five minutes. The oats are nice and hot. As I stated earlier, this is enough for me for about two days because these are very dense. All right, moment of truth, huh? You could chop up some apples, fruits, raisins, put them in here, but I prefer to have the fruit separately in the morning, fresh. Uh, so I guess you would just like dice up the apple and then put it in the pot uh, with the oats the night before. A little too sweet this time, but still very delicious. Now, when we made the oats the last time, I didn't like them that much. They were okay. I actually liked the instant oatmeal more than the previous recipe, but it's safe to say that these oats are delicious and I like these just as much, if not more than the instant oatmeal. Nice creamy texture. The oats are still a little crunchy on the inside, but by no means raw. You get a nice oat flavor after the vanilla maple syrup. Instead of that oil, you could put a little bit of a uh, almond butter, nut butter in here. Oats are one of the healthiest grains overall. You know, they have a nice fat, protein, and carbohydrate content, nice amount of fiber to help detox the liver. Definitely 
one of the healthiest components to any breakfast you can have. But uh, I'm going to enjoy my breakfast, guys. So thanks for joining me. Organic steel cut oats or groats. You can get them at, at most healthy grocers. Maybe I'll put some on my Amazon shop. But uh, if you guys do want to support me, you can go to frank com. Check out all of my interesting businesses. You can get some salt on frankiestrangefoods.com. As always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like this recipe, if you try it out yourself. And be sure to subscribe and check that notification bell so I can yell at you every day. Um, thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon.